so cheeky. It's good for the pores. It's good for the pores. Baby, you're the best. You're the best makeup artist ever. I'm gonna put music on you for a bit. Oh I'm no! Voice <laughs> no! I'm gonna start opening it with our little rap from yesterday. Oh yeah. We've we got to think of the one. Um, no, it's a new one. Hello, so you just saw me using the Liz Earl Instant Boost Skin Tonic on London just to prep the skin, cleanse it of any impurities, ready for the simple moisturiser, just because it's a lightweight one on London, sometimes she has sensitive skin. And then I just moisturise the lips with some of the Nivea Hydra Care. So the skin's just really, really ready for makeup and I just love to let all those sink in, hydrate the skin because we work for really long days. Now what I like to do next is just kind of trace out the brow. I like to do that before I do any other makeup because the brows, you know, they frame the face. So they're kind of important to your proportion and kind of just seeing where the makeup is going to go, especially like your eye makeup and the shape of the eye. So I'm doing this with Stud by MAC. It's one of their eyebrow pencils. I really like these. I've used them for a really, really long time. Um, yeah, and Stud is one that I use on London quite a lot. Now I'm just carving out the brow. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Toffee, which is a great colour on London. So I just carve out the shape a little bit and just clean up the shape. London loves to sit still. She's great. You know, she really loves me so much. And, you know, I have to hold her head in a vice lock grip sometimes because this girl likes to move. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way, though. So, yeah, I'm just carving out the brow and just setting that with the... Uh, MAC 242 I think it is and then I go in with a tiny bit of a lighter concealer it's the Maybelline IRAs in Honey which was great and then what I do now is I'm going over the groundwork I like to go all over the eye just to prep the eye the paint pots are really good they have really really good uh, longevity which is great because we film 12 hour days and it helps just keep the makeup on it stops increasing and things like that um, I set it with a tiny little bit of the uh, translucent powder the um oh uh, what's it called a really famous one i'll link it down below because i forgot what it was um laura mercier laura mercier <laughs> uh visible powder or iridescent powder you know the one and then i went in there i'm using the huda beauty palette the, the desert dusk one on london so what i just did there you saw i used a tiny bit of the desert sand just under the brow and then I went in with Eden, which is a great colour, especially on sort of deeper skin tones. It's got a little bit more of an apricot -y kind of feel. And I just use that um, just like above the crease line as kind of like a transition colour. And London really likes to be involved in what kind of looks we're going to do. She loves colour. We like to create a look that goes with the outfit, you know. Oh, there's Stevie in the background. Stevie's our lovely stylist. So I went in with Eden, and then I go in with Blazing, which is a little bit more of an orangey or red colour. So I'm just kind of packing that in the crease line. London's got amazing eyes. Her eye shape is beautiful, and I just love doing her makeup. And the makeup we were creating today, we were kind of going through some colours, but um, I really wanted to try a new Topshop eyeshadow we got sent, called Wax and Wayne, which you'll see in a minute. So yeah, I'm just using a 224 by MAC now, just to blend all the colours in. You just want a really nice, sort of super, kind of fluffy brush, just to give it a really, really nice transition of all the colours. There shouldn't be any hard lines. I'm going back in with the Zoeva brush there. It's the 242, it's like a concealer buffing brush, but I love that for, uh, not just concealers, but for the paint pots as well. So I just popped a little bit more groundwork on the lid, because now I'm going in with the Topshop eyeshadow, Wax and Wayne. And I did, you didn't see me, but I, um, I damped, dampened the brush a little bit with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. Because I just wanted to intensify the colour, because it's quite sheer. Um, it's a really beautiful eyeshadow, you'll see it in a minute. But I really wanted um, it to come out quite intense on London's lids. So I'm just patting that on. I've got it in my hands now. Uh, these are really nice. I did a couple of colours. I got like a goldy, yellowy golden one that had kind of like an almost antique green do a chrome feel to it and now I'm just with my finger and again a little bit fixed plus I'm just tapping on a tiny little bit of MAC reflex teal I think it's a very fine glitter and it just gives it a little extra kind of pop so I'm just going to line London's eyes now and I'm using um I'm pretty sure it's black track 
Um, I have used a couple of different eyeliners on her. It has to be waterproof though because again we film for long days. And I'm using another Zoeva brush. I'm really into my Zoeva brushes at the moment. And this is the, um, it's a little tiny like, uh, what's it called? Let me just grab it. It is a 312 detail liner. So it's a tiny little angle brush. It's great. It's synthetic. Um, but you can create really sharp um, liner with these. It's great. It's very, very detailed. I love it. And now I'm just putting a little bit of shadow through London's brows at the moment just to fill them out a little bit more. I don't know why I didn't record the foundation. I've just realised... Um, but the foundation I used on London was the Max Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NC50. I used the uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal under her eyes again. I set up the Laura Mercier in translucent powder or invisible powder. And then I used Max Studio Fix powder in NC45. So I'm sorry I missed that step. I don't know what happened to the footage. Uh, but I always sort of do that after I've done the eyes. And then I go back in and just kind of finish up with the eyes so in the waterline I use Smolder by MAC which is a black coal and now I'm just setting that with a bit of eyeshadow. I use the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette again and I use the I think it was Blazing and Saffron in the outer corner and then I went back in with the Wax and Wayne by Topshop in the inner corner and I'm going in now with some waterproof I'm waterproof mascara. This is a Kiko one that I really really like. And you can tell it had a little sticker on the end of it. That was London's own personal one that I bought for her. And Lash Unlimited Lashes. These lashes were great. Lash Unlimited Lashes are really good value for money. They're really comfortable to wear. I can't say enough good things about it. I'm just tidying up. I think I had a little bit of fallout. So just using my... Um, it's not a beauty blender. It's very similar. It's the Real Techniques sponge, a damp one. And I'm going back in with some mascara just to put a little bit on the bottoms just so it balances out a little bit. And I think I put, yeah, I blend the lashes in a little bit with a tiny bit of mascara on top. You don't want too much because these lashes are reusable. So the more mascara you put on, the kind of the thicker and heavier they'll feel. And then I'm using a tiny little bit of a brow pomade just to kind of sharpen up the outer eyebrow tail a little bit. So now I'm contouring. I'm using some MAC contour powders. Um, I can't think of the names to hand, but I'll link it in the description box below. I'm using a MAC brush. This is not my favourite brush. I don't know why I'm using this one, because this one that molts a little bit. But I'm going in with NARS Dual Intensity Blusher. I love this on her. You can see I've used it so many times. It's a beautiful colour. It's called Further. And it's just a really beautiful cranberry kind of colour. And I really kind of layer that on her cheeks. It's quite... I don't want to say it's subtle, but you do want to build the colour up a little bit and then it has a little bit of a highlight. And um, I'm going in with a tiny bit of dark black or brown just to kind of smoke out that outer corner and just connect the liner so it all kind of has shape. Again, missing footage here. I'm sorry about that, guys, but I'm using the Ella Masca lipstick here. This is the Antimatter Lipstick in Spectra, which is a beautiful kind of, kind of purpley, merlot-y lip colour. Now I normally use mattes on London just because again mattes are really great at lasting throughout the day. This one's got like a little bit of a, a moisture rising finish to it so it's not a matte, it's not it's not really creamy either, it's a bit like a satin. Um, and I kind of went in with Beat Lip Liner by MAC just to line the lips with it a little bit and I tidied again with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. These concealers are really good value for money, I think they're like £5, I got mine off from Beauty Bay. And I just love a concealer that comes with a brush so you can just kind of help kind of tidy any corners. So it's great for helping tidying up a little bit of eyeliner. This girl does not sit still. I mean, look at it. <laughs> I mean, oh, we do have fun there. I wouldn't have it any other way. This girl cracks me up and she keeps me on my toes. So because it was a little bit more of um, a creamy lipstick, what I did was I blotted it and I went in with some more translucent powder just to kind of mattify that lipstick. And it just helps grab a little bit more and stay on. And then I go in and add another coat, which is great. So because of the powder that's still there, it, it kind of mattifies the lipstick a little bit. But it doesn't make it feel too dry. Because the studio can get quite hot, it can get quite dry sometimes. So it does take its toll on the skin, on the presenters. So I always try and prep the skin really, really well. Lots of sort of hydrating skincare and lip care first. 
because we we shoot for 12 hour days so has to has to last so yeah you can see she's um puckering up i'm using a little bit more of the wax and wane eyeshadow just in the center of the lip just to give it a little bit of pop and just sort of finishing it there there we go i'm just applying that with a little bit of a lip brush it kind of helps her to bring the finished look together and then i'll set that in a second with a little bit of the urban decay finishing spray to help keep it on thanks for watching guys it's oh baby baby your makeup it makes me glow <laughs> Can't you see I'm shining? Oh, baby, baby. What, what rhymes with... What rhymes with glow? Glow? Yeah. So, ho, yo. But it needs to be about makeup. Yo, oh. Your mascara's got to go. No, I'm only oh, joking. Your mascara, it's, uh, extra or something. Oh, yeah. No. Your, wait. No, oh, baby, mascara. baby. Like, no. Your makeup yeah. it makes me glow. Can't you see I'm shining? Oh baby, your mascara is like no oil. It's like my oily face is killing me, and I, I must not need be me to block me. To block me, yeah. My oily face. It's killing me, and I, I must confess, I need BB to block me. When I'm with BB, my face is fine. Look at the shine. Beat me, BB, one more time. Boom! Done. And it's recorded. Beat me, BB. Beat me, BB, one more time. Right, should I do your foundation? I feel like my legs might My fingertips are holding on to the cracks in my foundation. That's it, that's it. I had a primer that would work. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> my fingertips are holding on to the cracks in my foundation. <laughs> if only I had a primer that would work. But every time I try, I know. <laughs> I can't, I can't hide all the wrinkles on my face and I go baby <laughs> please help me <laughs> baby <laughs> why does she sound like that baby you have so many lemons you are so bitter I have so many brushes baby you have so many brushes <laughs> Oh, oh mate. I wish she's in glow. I didn't even. I've got it. I've got. You don't want to hear it. Have no. I Are you sure? Yeah, Ariel, I've got. To... Ariel. Yeah. Are you coming back? What's going on? Oh, God, get uh. back.